All right, so I'm gonna do this on stream just because I think it's too good to uh, bypass by just trying to take some more time. But um, with the new stasis sidearm, so it is a primary weapon, first off, and it has stasis as its element, and it freezes on the trigger pull. So thing is with this, already, if you're running this sidearm, you're running triple elemental weapons. Pairing this with the Warlock, with the new aspect that comes out, the freezing targets create the stasis shards around the frozen targets, and the higher tier combatants create more shards. Now, the shards that drop are just like the Titan and Hunter ones. With this whole sidearm, what you want to do, in my opinion here, is maximize its, um, its impact. So I've theorycrafted a little bit of a build here. And I still need some unlocks for it, but I wanted to make a video just to inform, like, how this might be going down. So, first one is um, sidearm targeting, and then ammo finder of whatever kind of secondary you want. In this case, I chose a grenade launcher for one reason I'll get to in a second. And then surprise attack. Now, what this does is when you're charged with light, it'll consume all stacks when you reload a sidearm or take it out. And it'll give you an exceptional amount of um, increased damage. And then we have heavy handed because this sidearm is going to pair really well with the new aspect. You freeze something and it creates the shards. And you pick those up and you get more melee energy. And you can pair that with the aspect here that Shattering or Frozen Target spawns the Seekers. And then it'll um, freeze other ones nearby. And that'll create more bolts so you have more melee energy. And this, the catalyst for the, um, the Cryostasia. It reloads the weapon from reserves every time you shatter somebody. So you're in this constant loop of freezing, shattering with all your different abilities and the sidearm. And you're getting increased damage from all the uh, frozen targets and from also surprise attack. And now here's where this comes in. Mantle of Battle Harmony. This exotic was basically useless back in last season. I didn't use it a single time. I unlocked it, put it in my vault, and that was it. So... Takedowns of weapons that have damage matching your subclass grant you super energy. Surprise, surprise. Look at that. Stasis, stasis. And it works. So now you're running triple elemental and you're benefiting yourself. You're not even subbing anything out to make sure that you can have this benefit. And while your super energy is full, you gain damage boost uh, to the weapon type of matching your subclass. So you're getting a constant damage boost from Mantle of Battle Harmony. You're getting a damage boost from Whisper of Hedrons. And you're getting a damage boost and surprise attack. And the reason that I'm using a uh, grenade launcher, in this case I'm using Salvandry Salvo, is because in the artifact you have a lot of grenade launcher mods, so you can really choose whatever you'd like, and you got unstoppable, breach, and clear. But what I'm really here for is the energy accelerant. That dragonfly and chain reaction deals more damage, and that'll help in shattering, that'll help in add clear. And then the boots, just kind of anything you need, taking charge, recharge with light, and then stacks on stacks, you know, supercharged, all the good stuff to make sure you're constantly charged with light. So you're in this rotation of constantly throwing out your melee, freezing stuff, getting the shards, throwing out your melee again, having your sidearm loaded all the time. And you could also put on sidearm loader, but however you want to do this build is what you can do. Now I have a few clips here of me using the sidearm, and that's really all I want to do for right now. Thank you.